Man, 6-4. I really want to thank you for my tracks, my brother. I bow to thee. I bow to thee. But people, you already know who this is. Do me a favor, hit that like button, that share button, hit that notification bell. You will be notified every time I bring that shit straight out the oven. You hear me? Coming from the 615. Covering shit all over the globe. From sports, entertainment, spiritual insight, motivation, and loving your people. My people. That's what I'm about. But I got this heat coming from Hulu. Cause they on that bullshit, you feel me? Like I said, like this video, y'all. Six folk cutting on them damn beats, boy. Hey, getting off the getting off the bus with them motherfuckers. So we're gonna talk about uh Hulu. And this is reported from Katie Keck. I want to thank them and Gizmo, uh, Gizmodo. I'm going to leave a link in the description box. Sorry, Hulu users. Your live TV plan just got a little bit more expensive. Oh, boy. If you adore your Hulu account and live plus TV subscription, I'm afraid I got some bad news for you. See, I ain't even got cable. I ain't got cable. I'm just a resourceful individual. That's what I is. The company announced Friday that it is a very good Hulu Plus live TV plan, which includes supported Hulu Plus access to live and on-demand TV channels. It's hiking from $45 per month to $55 beginning December the 18th. Considering this amount to additional $120 per year you're paying for the service, on top of whatever the other pricey prescriptions you are also paying for at him or Netflix, an extra $10 per month is nothing to sneeze at, is it? Gizmo reached out to Hulu for comments about the changes and was pointed to a company blog post about the price hike. Of course, you know, motherfuckers gonna talk. The blog didn't offer much insight as to why Hulu landed on the exact number other than to state that the new monthly prescription costs better reflects the substantial value of Hulu plus live TV and allows us to continue our offering all of the popular live news, sports, and entertainment program, including the plan itself. It's also to benefit Hulu seems to realize that this is not especially great news for users of the service and noted that switching between its plans as needed is one way to get around having to shell out that extra $120 a year. Hey, man, y'all leave me some comments and let me know what y'all think about that, man, because this, this seems like... I remember when my basic cable bill was like, what, $12? And that's basically what you all need. You don't need all these damn channels because, you know, after you got all the internet access, you can get movies. That's that's no fucking problem. But all this other shit, this redundant shit, everything they show on HB1, two, HBO 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so the same fucking shit, just in different orders. And some in Spanish. Now, come on, come on, man. We ain't stupid. That's why I left cable alone. I advise everybody to leave cable alone and do their thing and save your money. And black people, I really I advise y'all to boycott, boycott the bullshit that don't treat you right. But this is your boy Moose Azakar. Like the video, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification icon, and I will get with y'all later on. But yeah, Hulu tripping. You ain't even get no $120 from me.